Hello all, welcome to BISP Self-Learning Podcast. My name is Amit Sharma and today I am going to show you how to load metadata into Hypian Planning. We have been using Planning version 11.1.2.3, the latest release. And uh, in today's session I am going to use how to load metadata using a new web user interface. I am sure if you experience working in the older version of Hypian Planning, including Hypian Planning 11.1.2.2, the outline loader utility it seems a little uncomfortable. You need to specify all possible combination of, uh, you know, permutation combination of different parameters to load metadata. The web user interface made your job quite easy. So let's see how it works. So in today's session, I'm going to show you how to import metadata. I've got two applications over here. You simply log into your application, the application number one. Now, if you see the application number one, you go to your uh, dimension section, the one which I'm going to export, we'll do in two steps. Uh, step first, I already loaded, I already have a metadata file which I prepared in the past. I'm going to show you how to load metadata from my source file which is, so first example we're going to try uh, load metadata into planning application, plan app1 and the second example I'm going to show you uh, we have got two applications, so I would export metadata from planning application 1 and then I'll, I'm going to import the same metadata into another application, planning application 2. So let's try with the first example. So I already prepared a metadata file over here, which I show it to you. In this example, I have taken an account dimension. So if you see the, the structure of your metadata source file, you may find it's quite familiar to you. We use the common properties as we specify while creating dimension, graphical user interface. So I have got account dimension, the parent chat relationship, account, the parent, the alias name, consolidation properties, data storage property, two pass calculation, smart view, smart list and other properties you see. So this is my source file ready with me. You know, to make it easy to understand, I have underlined my header with a bold color. So we are going to use this source file to load into our application. So I'm going to load this application to my, this metadata into my application number two. So I log off to no application number first and log into my second application. As of now, my application number two does not have any dimension member under account. Account dimension. I go to account dimension section. Under dimension section, relatively slow. You go to account. Account dimension. You see it's empty, right? So let's use this source file to load into our application. You see there's an interface call under administration. You see outline load utility. There are three options, export, import, and export data to file. With PS3 release uh, 11, 1, 2, 3, it is also possible to export data remaining in planning. Unlike in a previous release, we used to export data only from S space. So let's import the file over here. Before importing, you see my account which is empty. Go to your administration section, uh, outline load utility, and import from file. Make sure your import file is, uh, you know, correct. It doesn't have any syntax errors or inconsistency in metadata file. I choose my data source file, my dimension is account dimension, and I specify my account dimension. This is my account dimension, the one which I shown you. Uh, you keep this option as default. It is also possible to have a dry run. If you see, most of the options are uh, driven from your previous release, which you where you load metadata through outline load utility. Couple of new options are also added up. So I click on run. It's pretty fast and you see the metadata load would run in few seconds. I got a message over here. It says there are 313 records, members are added and zero rejects. Now I can go to dimension, my account dimension and check what members are added. 
So I got all the members under my count dimension as a post it was previously empty. You can also look at the log file post metadata upload. The log file information can be found under the folder on the middleware home, uh, your EPMA Oracle home, product and planning. You see these two log file got created and the timestamp for today. Today's timestamp. Open your log file and you can see uh, you know all the members got added over here. So I don't find any error and finally I can see there are 313 members are added and there are no rejects. So this is how so simple you can load import your metadata file into your planning application. Now I'm going to show you a second example in which I'm going to export data from one planning application and going to into another. Going to import another, uh, going to import metadata into another application planning application number two. So let's use the export utility from one application and then import into another application. So my source file is going to be planning application number one. I log off and log into planning application number one. And this time I'm going to export my entity dimension from planning application one. I would export entity dimension. Log into your application number one. I would be selecting my anti dimension. Under administration, I use outline load utility and export metadata to file second option I would select my anti dimension that's it click on run the metadata file would be saved into your local server file system so I'm going to save it into my uh, desktop let's open this file and see the structure of the file this is my anti dimension you see it consists of your the, the row number one is your header row which consists of your entity name, the parent, alias, uh, two pass calculation, data storage property, formulas and other options are available. I'm going to use this metadata file to load into my application number two. Before I load or input into my application number two, I would log in and check do I have any entity dimension over there or not. Before we import, I want to ensure that my entity dimension is empty. So log into application number two. And under your dimension section, check your anti dimension. My anti dimension is empty before importing it. So I go to administration, outline load utility and import metadata. Select your source file which I save into my desktop anti dimension and specify your dimension under which you are going to load it. I'm going to choose my anti dimension. Right. And that's it. Click run. It takes few seconds to import it. Finally we'll go to the log file to validate the metadata loaded imported successfully or not. And you see my metadata got uh, imported successfully with 229 records are imported and there are zero rejects. Uh, check your folder structure where you your log file maintain which is under EPMA, Oracle Home, Product Planning and I got a log file over here. 829 the latest log file. I open my log file and you see import file also get created over here. Look at your log file. I'm more concerned to look into the error. So I would quickly check the error. Error warning. There's no error. The last two rows talk about the summary of your metadata load. You see there are 229 records are processed, read, and 229 records are loaded successfully. And there are zero rejects. So that's for that's it for today. Thanks for watching today's session. In order to subscribe to our YouTube channel to access more videos. 
should you have any more question please write to us thanks for joining today's session and have a good day ahead